Hi, Sylvain. How are you, my friend? Fine, great, excellent. I had Good. some technical problems with uh, another uh, caller, uh, but uh, because his internet is not that uh, great right now, he will call back later. But uh, you you wrote me that you have to leave at six. So uh, yeah, let's let's have a chat, you and me, and the, the whole world can listen sure. to us. Excelente. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you know, this is the green day. Uh, it's you know, I do every year a very long live stream like the last one It was uh, 12th of uh, December Where we were also talking about uh, many many things and this day is uh, In Mexico we are celebrating today the day uh, the day of the deaths is very famous here. So uh, And it's a Saturday so many people will have time because uh, yeah it's a, a holiday, let's say, you know, a very famous one. So, okay, you're online now. I put you very big. I, I, I took away my picture, so all the, the people just will see you. Excelente, excelente. Okay. Okay. So, what do you want me to talk about? Yeah, uh, I mean, I know you and very, very, uh, or a lot of people know you too, but... Uh, Let's start with with this. Uh, introduce yourself for the newcomers. You know, people who are uh, who doesn't uh, who don't know you, that they know uh, where you are from, what you are doing, and etc. And then, yeah, one word gives the other, and we we will find a very interesting topic. You will see. Okay, Sir Wayne, introduce yourself. Okay. Uh, thank you for having me on your, your Green Day uh, this year. Um, it's an honor, especially since uh, I know many of the guests that will be speaking uh, after me uh, are very famous uh, in other parts of the world. And um, I just wanted to, uh, about myself, um, simply, mm -hmm. uh, I work during the day in uh, international sales, um, but evenings and weekends, uh, during the day I, I make a living and ev in the evening and weekends I make a life. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, I have uh, children. I love them very much. Take care of them. Um, focus on their on their health. Uh, try to eat as much organic foods as possible. Do a lot of exercise. Uh, have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of family activities. That kind of thing. And uh, one of my uh, own uh, hobbies is uh, activism. I'd like to be a professional activist one day. Uh, Eventually, you are. hopefully making a living out of it. <laughs> you are. But even if I don't, it doesn't matter. I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, but it's, there's nothing wrong with making a living as an activist. And uh, you know my causes. I, I'm focused on clean air, clean water, clean food, clean government. Mm -hmm. um, clean air meaning, of course, <clears throat> de decreasing pollution caused by uh, uh, especially uh, the burning of fossil fuels. Um, also, the frequent passing of planes and the emissions that they drop uh, over us, uh, including chemical uh, emissions, <coughs> some of which are visible as chemtrails, and some which are uh, intentionally spread uh, for the purpose of geoengineering. Um, so, clean water, uh, I am against fluoridation, I am against the medication of uh, our public drinking water systems, um, and uh, clean clean food, meaning a food that has as little a pesticide as possible, uh, totally non-GMO foods. Clean government, well, to remove corruption, uh, because uh, as the uh, poll uh, done, I believe it was in the UK, there was a poll done at the uh, to see which profession which was uh, the least trusted, where people trusted the professionals the least and of course it was the politician and uh, they lie and and they know that we know that they lie and they, they lie anyways and anyways corruption in general uh, so and of course my final one is um, a peaceful world a world without uh, um, sending uh, these weapons of mass destruction that I call drones uh, killer drones assassin drones over 75 different countries uh, there's no le legal justification for it and it uh, kills they call it collateral damage but they kill a lot of civilians 
And uh, so essentially those are my causes. And uh, uh, in some of these causes, uh, I have achieved some of these causes uh, successfully, like fluoridation, remove fluoridation from my, uh, prevented fluoridation from uh, my city here in Gatineau. And um, did a lot against the recession of uh, 2008. Uh, was very successful there and also uh, way back before then. Uh, had a successful effort then. It's all documented in newspapers. Uh, but now my focus is uh, the greening of the world. And it's appropriate that you uh, we talk today because I believe that uh, we should be uh, everything that we, uh, uh, how do you say, uh, that we take in to our bodies it should be as clean as possible, as green as possible, yeah. and um, and we're not here to help the, uh, the chemical industry. I should say the petrochemical industry because pesticides and, and so on uh, are from the oil industry primarily. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so, anyways, before I ramble on, uh, mm -hmm. did you have any questions for me? Yes, I have a a, a very big question. Uh, how was your meeting with David Ike? Because uh, I was waiting. Oh uh, yes. I was waiting to to have a chat with him, and I don't know what happened. This, uh, because it's uh, uh, it's a very famous man in the world. Many people know him, and uh, I w I wanted to talk to him. So tell me, what what did you talk with him? What happened? Because you you met him in person. I it's excellent. Uh, what I saw about this. So, what what happened? Well, David Ike uh, was a remarkable uh, person, very humble. Mm -hmm. um, paid my coffees and you know paid a meal for me. Um, I met him for uh, Monday and Tuesday while he was here in Ottawa for the court case. Uh, I drove him back to uh, with a friend of mine, uh, Tom Kennedy. Mm -hmm. Drove him back to the airport in Montreal where he. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, left for the uh, well, for London, I believe he, he was aiming for the London, UK, that is. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, he was here for a court case uh, regarding um, uh, defamation uh, lawsuit. And um, I don't want to go into the details now because it's not entirely finished. But essentially, uh, what it's all about, and it seems that uh, the good guys have lost, is where you when you post things on the internet, uh, like in Facebook posts and comments and this and this and that. Uh, the um, it's the courts. Uh, the uh, well, there were only six jurors. I don't know for what reason. They decided uh, uh, that you are responsible for what you post, and not only you're responsible for what you post. That means liable. Uh, if you say something bad, then you could be sued for it. If people can hmm. find you, that is, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's very easy uh, to find somebody, even if you have a false name. Um, now, um, the um, even if somebody else within your original discussion stream posts something that is negative, hate-based, uh, uh, malicious, or whatnot, you could be liable even for what they say in your discussion stream. And when I say liable, um, I believe that people who lost in this case, they were from BC, um, they lost something uh, to the effect of uh, $45,000 probably, most likely much more than that. Uh, so that was a, uh, a precedent, it was a landmark case, and uh, I'm very sad that, uh, uh, that that is the case. So freedom of expression is being choked uh, in Canada and it might be the model for the rest of the world. They'll probably do the same thing in other countries. So we have to be careful about what we say. Uh, even if we, what we say is accurate, if it's defamatory, um, uh, if, you know, we still could be liable. So we will see the development of that. It's going into an appeal uh, process. Uh, but uh, back to David Icke. Uh, he is launching, I believe it's November 17th or 15th, uh, his uh, show, the people, the radio show, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's a big thing. I don't know who his investors are and who his partners are, uh, but uh, we're talking a, a complex that's uh, probably close to a million dollars, I, I would assume. Uh, uh, and uh, it's huge. I've seen uh, videos of it uh, uh, when it was being made. It's going to be fully staffed. He's looking for journalists now. 
he's a very approachable person um, uh, humble he listens to you uh, if you ask him something he will reply with uh, as much detail as you want uh, and uh, uh, he is very interested in uh, if people have something important to say that he wants to talk to them and promote them uh, through his new London studio which will be opening uh, I guess in two weeks Okay. Um, now we were rushed to uh, head back to Montreal that's why we couldn't get in touch with you and unfortunately I was going to call you in the phone to pass you the phone to him yeah uh, but uh, it, my phone is a wind phone and the wind phones don't work uh, out of the Ottawa region out of the Toronto region they don't work in Montreal so I was unable to use my phone to phone you and he didn't have a phone and my friend didn't have a cell phone yeah. so that's why we couldn't phone you because I wrongly assumed that my phone would work um, so uh, I apologize for that uh, but he will be coming back and uh, and even if he isn't, um, I think you should try to contact him directly. I spoke about you, and well, uh, I spoke about the work you, you do from uh, Mexico and uh, worldwide. And um, so um, he's, he's a good contact to have. He's very, very influential, uh, perhaps even more than Alex Jones. Yeah, I think I so. I, I, I heard about Alex Jones after David Icke. David Icke, uh, in fact, a Mexican uh, friend told me about him. Uh, years ago and uh, I, I not even knew about Alex Jones so, <laughs> so I mean I would like to have everybody here to talk because uh, we are almost all the uh, with this, uh, we, are, we have the same um, vision you know to to help each other and uh, take out the the bad stuff of the government because they're not doing what what we want you know they're doing what they want and making just money and, and, and killing the people with their programs the chemtrails and whatever they have so uh, it's time for us to unite you know uh, I don't want to be uh, for example here I, I do the live stream but I'm not the the main person I just I'm connecting the people like you I give all those people who are uh, in calling or who wants to be in the program I give them uh, the 99% and I'm just the one person who is uh, just asking and, and, and telling something you know but but uh, what I want is that we are all together because uh, you're doing your stuff uh, and it's fabulous. I mean, just go, uh, the people who do, don't know you, go to the website of Sylvania and, and you can find so many nice posts and informative posts you, you never see, in, not even on TV. And I'm doing the same stuff. I'm also sharing so many things. And many people we are doing the same but it's it's like um, we need a union that that's why I want to have also David Icke you maybe other people uh, at the same time so because many people they they know you of course you have also around 5,000 people uh, on Facebook I have 5,000 the other 5,000 but sometimes between us we don't know each other and what I want is that we are all together because we have the same vision uh, for for a better world you know for peace and because people want peace I, I i don't know not not even a soldier who say yeah i want to go and kill people i mean this is uh, it's just a madness that they send innocent people to kill other innocent people so uh we need to to be together and save the world and not uh, just say yes sir yes sir i do what you want you know governments are are bad <laughs> so so that that's why i would like to have david ike also to um, unite you know and uh, I hope uh, I don't have any contacts of, of him just the Facebook and I sent him messages but I, I didn't get a, a, an answer yet so I maybe he will have also thousands of messages for sure so it's uh, it's very difficult for someone new because I think he, uh, he didn't know about me I knew him because of my friend who told me about him but maybe he not even knew me uh, now he, he he knows me because you talk uh, talk to him about me okay excellent but uh, it's time that, that we really are together in a uh, show you know in a live stream whatever i not even want to use the word show because many people say we're doing a radio show i'm your host and whatever you know i mean uh, this is bullshit <laughs> it's not a show we, we want to do something uh, at least you and me for example and uh, it, it shouldn't be uh, named a show it, it should be uh, the the real tv the open um, mainstream media the uncensored or whatever i, I like that more than uh, just saying it's a show you know because uh, 
we are giving the real news here and try to wake up the world so i hope i hope you when you see him again tell him uh hello from from me and uh, uh that he contact me please because when i try it again i i i don't get uh, any response yet so it would be a great help that uh, we are all know each other and uh and can do more because uh, as more as we are, as more we can change, you know. Hope so. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, and I also I want to mention to the people who are watching us now, you also know uh, a relative from the famous Gandhi. Can you tell us about uh, this issue? About it. A, a relative of, sorry? Of Gandhi, the, the famous Gandhi, you oh, know. Oh, yes, yes. Oh yes, uh, Gandhi. Uh, I believe his last uh, uh, children uh, have died uh, only recently, but his grandchildren, uh, uh, the fourth grandson of Gandhi, is his name is Arun Gandhi. I'm in communication with him from time to time. He's a very uh, nice man. He's the head of the largest uh, institute for nonviolence uh, in children and nonviolence as well too. Uh, he lives in uh, the in Rochester, New York. And um, and um, he uh, his son Tushar. I'm in communication with him. He lives in India, mm -hmm. um, and he was alive. Uh, I think he was 14, 15 when his grandfather, uh, the uh, Ma the great soul Mahatma Gandhi, got shot mm -hmm. uh, by one of his own, uh, you know, Indian people. Um, so he had a lot of history with him. He remembers him quite well, and he was a great storyteller. I invited him to Ottawa. Uh, to uh, talk about his grandfather, it was very interesting at the uh, Canadian Montessori Academy uh, here in uh, Ottawa, mm -hmm. and um, um, I also invited some ambassadors and high commissioners uh, at the event, especially from India and South Africa, because India gave birth to Gandhi, and uh, South Africa actually was the one to give birth to the Mahatma, the Great Soul. Mm -hmm. um, so. Um, so I, I, I do know them, and uh, uh, Aaron in particular is very open to traveling uh, across the world, actually. Uh, even now, if you uh, make requests for him, he can travel different parts of the world. Um, and um, he's, he's very, very... Uh, he looks like uh, an older version of uh, Charles Bronson, mm -hmm. um, and, uh, but he's, he's getting close to 80, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but a, a very, very nice person, uh, uh, very good with children. He's the, the, the greatest living storyteller uh, I have ever met. I don't know if he's as uh, persuasive as his grandfather. I, I doubt he could fight a cause now anyways, he's, he's quite old. But he, he is a master storyteller. Wow. Uh, it's great to be uh, with him. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I saw the, 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 the pictures of uh, your meeting. Uh, on Facebook and uh, I, I mean excellent I, I would like to meet also all of you in person I mean I'm just here in Mexico City in a, in a small room you know and uh, uh, I, uh, I I would like to do the what, what, what you have done that that, that you c um, can meet all those famous people like David like uh, um, the, the uh, oh. grand, uh -huh, grandson of Gandhi and everything i mean it's it's actually, excellent it's excellent and uh you know i actually, feel like stuck here <laughs> yeah the, these people actually are very approachable i'm i was surprised and you don't have to be anybody important all you need is a good idea mm -hmm. um and uh, and to have the right intention for an event yeah. and usually uh, leaders will respond and i've uh, invited many world leaders to uh, ottawa uh, and including uh, dr paul zaremka Buffalo State University. He's the world expert on 9/11, wow. and he came to uh, Carleton University uh, in the Kailash Mittal Hall. Uh, he gave a presentation on uh, uh, some videos which will, you will probably never see in public. Okay, mm -hmm. so 9/11 was definitely an inside job. Oh, He's okay. written uh, several books, including his most famous is "The Hidden uh, Truth of 9/11," something to that effect. Um, I also invited Dr. Paul Conant, world expert on fluoridation, uh, to Ottawa. And uh, it's funny when I was um, I was homeless at the time that I invented uh, invited all these people to Ottawa and created these huge events at the universities. Um, 
I was homeless, but I was not without ideas and not, and it didn't stop my causes. I'm not homeless anymore. I have a great job. I have a great situation now. Um, but uh, it kept my sanity to have these uh, these hobbies, I like to call them. Mm-hmm. And uh, the next person I'd like to bring is uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. Uh, he lives in the state of New York. And also, um, he's still alive. Um, what's his name again? The policeman got shot there in New York City several times. Serpico, John Serpico. Mm-hmm. He's still alive. He fled to uh, Switzerland for to protect his life because the, uh, the cops tried to get him uh, because he was fighting corruption within the police force. And uh, that man is a hero. And uh, But he's back now in the, the state of New York uh, giving speeches. I believe he has a website. He's very approachable to um, and um, but it's it's uh, it's nice to organize these events. I like to just like you bring people together and create bridges uh, between people and people's uh, different. And uh, it's fun. And uh, sometimes you succeed at making change, and I think change is what it's all about. Yeah, exactly. This is what I think. You know, uh, uh, I mean, I myself I cannot change the whole planet you know but uh, maybe I'm just a little part of it you know and uh, it's like uh, we say in Spanish uh, un grano de arena is like um, a sand corn in, on the a beach of sand. something yeah. like exactly and uh, you know this is what the most people think they are nothing you know they say what can I do you know but it, it, this is totally mm. wrong because we, we I mean the, the first proof is that we are living we are doing something when we are working we are helping uh, that other people get the product you know because if we don't do that and nobody will do it so uh, there's something missing so so we are really important you're important I am important and all the watchers who are watching this video now uh, you're also important uh, it's just we have to to do something because doing nothing won't change anything either you know so I mean it's up to us to change the world and uh, do it in the right way I mean uh, there's nothing wrong with it so that's what I was thinking if I'm just chatting on uh, Facebook uh, maybe I can wake up people but it's it's more important to have it uh, also with uh, uh, visual you know like a video with voice and, and picture and everything because a picture says more than a thousand words is a saying also here in Mexico uh, so I mean I'm trying to like you said uh, building the bridge between us etc et and uh, uh, I mean I'm not perfect either I mean uh, I'm not even an inventor but I know people who invented uh, there's one guy maybe he will ch- uh, join the live stream also he uh, uh, knows how to uh, if you have a car uh, which consumes gasoline and uh, he made uh, he can make it that it works with water it's just a device and some changes in the motor and you you just need for uh, bringing the, the car to run let's say uh, I, I don't know like 10% of gasoline and 90% on water I mean that could change a lot so uh, I know many people who are really uh, um, or who really have in uh, I mean changes for the world etc but they're unknown yet because they don't have either um, chance to to uh, produce those things because you know the, the government uh, they want to still to sell their stuff and uh, if you have something which helps for example I bought a, uh, a solar panel it's still uh, here where you can uh, I don't know if, if you can see it uh, uh, this is for recharging the, the battery of, of your car 12 volts so with this for example uh, that helps uh, to get some energy because uh, if you're in the, in the desert and, and, and your, your battery is off you put that but solar panels also can give energy uh, in home you know if, if you put it on the roof you even uh, you can say bye bye to the uh, electric companies uh, who charge us a lot of money and, uh, the, the bills and etc et but the government don't help the people to get this because they want always a part of our money too you know and that's a crazy world here and uh, yeah everybody's important and we have to help each other because we don't get that help from 
from our governments who should help us you know that's why we are voting for for them because we want positive changes but they, they don't agree with that mm -hmm. so it's our job now to to do those uh, or these kinds of uh, changes and I'm so happy to meet you my friend because uh, uh, first I, I thought I'm alone on this because when when I didn't know all those people like you like like Russ Turner uh, who will join also uh, later etc but then I you know with the time I see there's so many good people outside and yeah let's build the bridge you know let's let's get together all and uh, try to change the world for peace and for uh, love and whatever you know excellent day you know <laughs> you, you uh, neither of us uh, are how do you say uh, geniuses in certain scientific or technological uh, uh, mm -hmm. areas mm -hmm. um, however Science and technology and politics uh, are not changing the world the way it should be changed. Yeah. I think real progress is social progress. Exactly. Uh, but, uh, you know, you don't see the, the, the very rich fighting corruption. Uh, you don't see the very brilliant uh, scientists fighting against chemtrails and GMOs. Mm -hmm. um, common people have common sense and they know what's good and what's not good. They know that. Uh, for instance, in the past, that smoking was bad for you, even though the government uh, was corrupted by the uh, tobacco industry, and uh, you know, you would, they would say there's nothing bad with the, there's no evidence uh, to say that smoking is bad for your health. Now you see on packs of cigarettes here in Canada, uh, pictures of black lungs on the front cover. It says smoking kills. Yeah, uh, Mexico too. <laughs> you know, yeah. They have to, by law, for liability reasons, yeah. they have to admit the truth, but it had to be fought. But it was common people like you and me who persisted uh, day by day, like what you're doing and what I'm doing, uh, and eventually uh, uh, the, tr the truth came out. Uh, dictators have the time, and um, like for instance, I'm, I'm fighting to, uh, to convince our Prime Minister here in Canada to resign. Um, just a minute. And uh, um, even though I'm not myself powerful every day, I pray for it, and I pray for it online. I pray for it, and, uh, it, and uh, I, I don't know if any you pay attention to this at all. Canadian politics, he's having a really tough time. Uh, does my little bit help? Probably, very very small way, yes. But <coughs> of course, persistence pays mm -hmm. in business, as in politics, as in anything. As you're trying to date a, somebody, persistence pays. Yeah. Um, and uh, look at the trees. And some trees live to be three thousand years old. They don't even move. They just stand there. Mm -hmm. You know, persistent days off for them. Um, so we shouldn't be uh, discouraged if we don't have a, a great, wonderful skill like the scientists who can solve everything because they're not doing it. Politicians are not doing. It, the rich are not doing it. And uh, it's us common sinners that are <laughs> changing the world. Exactly, you know? exactly. <laughs> no, you're totally right, man. Because, uh, uh, I mean, just let's see those people uh, like Albert Einstein or the invention of, the, uh, of all those new weapons, uh, the atomic bombs and everything. Uh, I mean, all this kind of things, they could use it for peace. But uh, the first thing what they are doing is uh, checking out if that also works for, for killing people, you know instead to uh, I yeah. mean with, with ev it's, it's almost with, with everything uh, like like all those viruses I mean the technology for sure exists to get rid of every sickness of the planet but what they're doing they are taking more money to create uh, mortal viruses spraying at us like like with the chemtrails for example for this there's so much money but not not for cu uh, curing the people Mexico, I don't know how is the situation in Canada, but I got a message on my cell phone. I have a service with the news It's for free and I just check it to see what what's happening because I don't watch TV anymore and uh, they were writing that uh, a third uh, Part of the women have uh, breast cancer. That means from um, 100 women 33 women and, uh, and, a, and a party uh, let's say 33 women of 100 women have cancer breast cancer that never was in the past I mean I grew up in the, yeah. in the 60s 
and there was a, a, a German case I think uh, uh, I forgot that the name and there was the first case of cancer I think it was on, uh, in a um, magazine in Stern is, is the name uh, they were talking about this as big scandal you know like that, 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 that famous artist has cancer and I never heard about cancer until uh, that uh, I read that and now it's so common in people and I think it's also part of all this kind of viruses they're doing the vaccines because I, I have uh, researched also a lot about the, the vaccines that they are not healthy at all so uh, I mean there's so much money for for killing us let's say little by little and they don't do it uh, uh, like mm -hmm. a, a one day they, they have they will die thousands of people I mean you you don't see that because they're dying little by little of course if you analyze that that uh, every three women with, with breast cancer or other kinds of cancer uh, they will die in one day so at that day they're really dying thousands of people and thousands of people but uh, it's uh, it's uh, something you don't see uh, at that moment but it's really happening you know I don't know if you get the, uh, this idea because we are all sick in certain kind of uh, things you know I mean I'm, I'm, I'm still smoking and I shouldn't smoke at all I know that and sorry for <laughs> for you people who are watching me smoking like a, a chimney uh, I don't know what is the name but I mean, uh, anyway, I will have to die one day, so I, I will die at least happy, you know, with, with, with the things I shouldn't mm -hmm. do. <laughs> but I mean, we are all. Uh, don't worry. I, I respect the rights of smokers, but uh, regarding the, your point about cancer, yeah, a hundred years ago, it was rare. Well, first of all, hundred years a word, uh, hundred years ago, the word cancer didn't exist. Exactly, it wasn't um, even there. And cancers and tumors were extremely rare. As a matter of fact, they're more common now in humans than in animals. You ask a veterinarian and he will tell you that. Uh, it's a crying shame that nothing is being done to look at the prevention of cancer. I'm a bio, I was a biochemist uh, as I started my career. Mm -hmm. And it's just incredible, the list of ingredients, that of things we eat, ingest and drink, that causes cancer in our bodies and the Food and Drug Administration and Food Inspection Agencies, yeah. they just close their eyes to that. Uh, it, so clearly there's no incentive for our government, our leaders to prevent cancer mm -hmm. and they will not say publicly that this and this and this chemical causes cancer or they might say it in some isolated article that's so technical and full of formulas that people don't understand so, and they wouldn't be interested in it. And so that, that's that's an issue. Another issue is a uh, hundred years ago, there were no income tax anywhere in the world. Um, now we have income tax. Can you imagine that you we individually give tens of thousands of dollars to, depending on where we live, of course, to our governments every year. We work several months each year for free for our governments. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like a part-time slavery, if you will. Yep. Uh, something that didn't exist a hundred years ago and do we have more money no we have great depression after great depression where does the money go mm -hmm. I mean the government taxes everything you can uh, every exactly. product every exactly. service. We, they, they have they receive so much money and they're broke and they're in deficit and yeah. I, I heard uh, recently the United States can never repay their 17 trillion dollar deficit it is impossible where is the money? And even yeah. making payments uh -huh. on that is impossible. So I feel very sorry for the United States. It used to be the, the most powerful uh, you know, economic powerhouse of the world. Exactly. So we have so much money that we give to our governments. We don't know what they do with it. They have black budgets. That means the public's not supposed to know what they use that money for. Mm -hmm. well, but we know because a lot of it is to develop science and technology for killing, for we've become expert assassins. Yep. Since 9-11, America has killed two million civilians in the Middle East. Oh, it's over there. We don't see it, so it doesn't bother us. It bothers me. For some reason, I'm very sensitive to people dying overseas, uh, anywhere, uh, being killed mm. by governments. Exactly. Uh, I'm basically a believer in God, and we have this commandment that, that says that you shouldn't kill, but that doesn't apply to governments, apparently. <laughs> um, exactly. They're above the commandments. They're above God, it seems. Mm -hmm. 
So, um, um, so I, you know, prevention. Um, if if we if we would just help each other learn more about what causes cancer, what foods we should eat to prevent or to help healing, uh, and what feeds cancers. Does do cancers love uh, an, an acidic body? Do they love sugar? Uh, cancer cells, I mean. Um, so we, with just a little bit of information, we can go a long way and maybe add years to our life. Yeah, yeah that, that's absolutely true. And let me tell you something, maybe you, you know it already also, but uh, you know the plant marijuana? Yeah. Uh -huh. Wheat, marijuana, whatever. This is also a medicine, but of course it's illegal. I mean, it's a natural plant. It was used and I, I have seen a lot of uh, uh, information videos even uh, with, with uh, scientists talking about this and it really uh, helps for ca uh, for killing the cancer for certain kinds of cancer for example skin cancer you uh, put it in alcohol with some other things and whatever let it there for one week or I, I don't remember exactly the treatment of this but you can heal with marijuana but I mean uh, it seems that the government don't allow that 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 we are um, healed, you know, that uh, that we can get rid of these things. What they want is to sell medicines. They cause the problem, and then they offer the solution. You know, they make us sick. The GMO food, for example, <coughs> it's also a, a you know the Monsanto thing and uh, whatever. I mean, this is just a, a madness because they are making us sick uh, on propose. And then there's a pharmacy and uh, the doctor and this is costs a lot of money and uh, people are paying for that. I mean, uh, it's, it's also like uh, some years ago I had enough money in my bank account to survive one month more. I had, I had savings. Now I, know I, I live from one day to the other. I don't have any peso. We use here Mexico pesos. I don't have savings anymore. I had to sell my stuff. A lot of my, my things, I now I live in, with, with boxes, I just have that, uh, comp uh, my computer equipments and everything. But uh, I had even to sell things to survive. I, I almost was also homeless, almost, because uh, uh, I didn't get even work. And I mean, the situation is getting worse every day. And now what I'm thinking is, if we don't uh, have changes soon, I, I just think in the future, what will happen to all those million old people when they are uh, in retirement age you know when they are like 60 70 years old and they not even can work because they are all almost dead also because you know uh, I mean we are getting more sick every every day so but I know why because the government thinks okay they're dying so we have less to pay also so we get rid of the slaves and we have new a new generation of young slaves and making it again consumer consumer you know and uh, they are just uh, paying for being alive uh, eating that that medicines and whatever and that vaccines to uh, survive the, at least the time they can work and then when they are old bye bye you know I mean this is so sick this it, it seems it's like this because I, I, I don't see that the government helps uh, the sick people uh, I know so many people there uh, in, the, in the same situation, almost nobody has money right now. When I call a friend, uh, hey, let's go to a bar, let's have some uh, some beers. Uh, no, I don't have money, you know. And in the past, 15 years ago, for for example, they even were knocking at my door. Hey, let's go there, let's go there. It's over. The, the people are separated. The people are uh, poor, and the people are dying. I mean, this is. It's a madness, and we have to change that. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, uh, I care about your situation um, because you care about the whole world, and you've been yeah. trying to build bridges for a very, very long time. Uh, you're a, you're an international figure, though maybe you're not as well known locally where you are right now. Uh, if if you uh, were, I don't know if you have an audience of people who listen to you uh, right where you are in your your city and uh, country of Mexico. I don't know what it's called. What's it, what's it called? 
Okay, I live in Mexico yes, City. I live in Mexico City. Let, uh, let me tell you what I had uh, done. Okay, I was on TV in Mexico, in a, a private TV or kind of cable TV, which is not uh, visible for, for the whole world, but I got one time chance about it. But I didn't know yet, or at that time, I didn't know about the chemtrails, about uh, the real thing we are talking right now. I just uh, knew about the solar storm, so I, I got that interview. Then I got an, um, a radio interview, but it was recorded, it was not live. And uh, at that interview I was talking about our, uh, I, or your idea with the green lights. You know, uh, you remember, you know, the, that everybody put a green light in the porch and uh, uh, the window, whatever. And then I mentioned also the chemtrails. And guess what happened? That interview never was transmitted in live and even the uh, interviewer was, uh, who made that interview uh, possible uh, was fired so that means censorship and people uh, are watching first okay what are uh, Hans will talk ah campus no 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 forget it you know I mean this is a proof and uh, you remember yesterday when we were on, on Skype and I uh, told you about that live stream I is uh, I don't know if you have seen that that video that pilot video I interviewed a pilot about chemtrails and he admitted them he, uh, he said, yes, I do what chemtrails are, you know, or what a chemtrail is, something li like this. And he was even saying it's a necessary evil. So, I mean, uh, this is the, the biggest proof that from a pilot, not an actor, not uh, uh, someone else that was with picture. And that video was censored right away. And uh, there were many people, they re-uploaded, they have a mirror. And it also was censored and censored. Now. There's uh, uh, the last copy uh, uh, on, on the internet where they cover the face of the pilot and modificate a, uh, a bit the voice that you cannot recognize the, the pilot who, who he is, for example. And uh, for sure they will take it down also very soon because, I mean, this is a proof that um, when you say the, the truth that there's someone watching you and doesn't want that the people listen at that uh, truth, you know. So, I mean, I don't give up. I, I, I'm since 2007 with Project Lights Out, trying to uh, to help and uh, wake up the people and offer changes and whatever. And uh, even if I get the videos deleted, more at the evening I will have a, a, a interview with Russ Tanner, Max Bliss, and maybe more chem trailers who who knows about the, these things. Then I will put even on my live stream the video again. So uh, I hope people uh, will now really believe it because many people they are still thinking no it's normal not hell no it's not normal the, those guys they, they look different in the past so uh, I mean there's really something true here we don't know uh, exactly what they are spraying but it's for sure it's not good because if it would be good the government would explain it because there are so many people even writing to the governments there are protests on the street and we never get an, an official answer so i mean this is the first proof for for me that they're hiding something and when someone is hiding something it's not for good there's something very very bad happening here and it's about also about mind control for sure <coughs> weather modification they say it's weather modification but maybe this is just an excuse that the that just in case if it gets covered up or whatever that they say ah that's why you know but I think it's more that they are killing us that they are making us sick and uh, whatever because if not they would officially say it just to stop all those conspiracy theories and uh, we don't see answers from the government so there's something uh, happening here and I, I hope the people will wake up and will question this we have to be together on this making maybe more protests and uh, really knock the door in person of the president and whatever i mean they're just puppets we know that also but uh at least that it's public that the people really um yeah don't give up on this they we have to insist insist because it's our life it's the life of our families friends and future generations if we don't do it here right now uh, the future will be fucked. <laughs> you know, they will just learn what they are getting teached in the school, and they are really uh, in modification of the of the school books. You know, uh, explaining that a chemtrail is a contrail, and 
yeah, new generations, if they don't know it not right now, they will just believe lies and we have to wake them up right now before the, the future is uh, yeah, destroyed, whatever. One recommendation I have for you is uh, Marielle Hemingway, the yeah. actress. She lives in California, uh -huh. close to the Mexican border. Uh, she's very accessible. Um, maybe you should uh, have a talk with her online. You can find her on Twitter. Uh, you communicate with her. Uh, okay. She doesn't handle her uh, uh, her own Twitter account all the time, but she does sometimes. Her assistant does, and I've communicated with her assistant also. Okay. Try to bring her to Mexico. Yeah. Uh, create an event at a university hall somewhere. It'll draw a crowd, and wow. uh, you know you can ask for a. Uh, uh, admission just to pay for uh, some expenses to you know uh, for yourself and for her not much you know mm -hmm. um, she's a great advocate of chemtrails against chemtrails um, oh, I didn't know and that. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you didn't know that no I, I know anyway. the actress a, but I didn't know what uh, what she's doing uh, uh, after acting I don't know okay okay yeah that's her hobby is to fight chemtrails there are other uh, actors that are uh, on board with this, uh -huh. uh, but she's the one that comes to mind because she's the only one that uh, 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 that uh, responded to me. Uh, and uh, so you, I recommend that you try to find her on Twitter mm -hmm. um, and give her a good reason why she can she, she can come to Mexico and uh, organize her trip. Uh, if you need help, I'll uh, I'll give you some some tips on on how to do it for uh, almost nothing you know? okay. um, but uh, it will draw a lot of people and uh, it may make you more better well known locally where you are that's what you need right now because I would say maybe 20 30 thousand people know you already from around the world mm -hmm. you're an international figure already <laughs> you need to be more known locally mm -hmm. and uh, bringing in a celebrity like that uh, will definitely uh, not harm you yeah no, that's a great, great idea. I I will do that definitely. I will look look for her on Twitter. Maybe you can. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there are uh, fan pages of her or people who copy her. Maybe you can send me uh, later um, uh, an inbox on Facebook with the uh, uh, Twitter account that that I can find her faster. But definitely, I will contact sure. her. And I thank you so much for all those um, uh, tips. You know, all those uh, ideas also because. I mean, I, I didn't know that. That's why I, I say we have to be together on this because one person mm -hmm. doesn't know everything, you know. But you know things I don't know. Maybe I know some something. What at least what happened in, uh, happened here in Mexico? I I know maybe more than people who live in other countries. But if we are sharing our knowledge, then we can uh, maybe be part of a bigger change uh, and faster, you know, because. It's the only way to and, uh, to do something, you know. Yep. Wow. And and I highly recommend to your audience uh, uh, those of you who have uh, um, certain uh, loyalty programs, such as frequent flyer points and that kind of thing. Um, please th think of uh, uh, Hans. Uh, if ever you have a loyalty program that could be a benefit to him, uh, donate some uh, air miles for Hans so he can and go and meet these celebrities and have some great shows. Um, yeah. uh, something I, I learned recently, uh, it does work. Um, if you, uh, for instance, uh, calling cards, prepaid calling cards, prepaid credit cards, that kind of thing, you know, the throwable kind? Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can buy a credit card for like uh, 100 bucks or 50 bucks or even 20 bucks, and, and um, it has a PIN number, and you can buy things on the internet with it, and then you throw the card away. Well, I learned that you just send an email to your friend you want to send him a gift uh, put the card number and the pin number or just send it in two different emails so somebody doesn't use it in transit and so if anybody's got any uh, gift cards is not using or anything uh, help sponsor uh, Hans show because uh, I want you to be on the air for a very long time uh, and uh, uh, and I really appreciate you interviewing me for the past few years man Oh it's my good to be a friend. Yeah, yeah it's, no, it's it's good uh, to know you too, and uh, I appreciate your also your time, and uh, you will always be invited whenever I do a live stream, and 
we are going into the those kind of topics where you know to talk you are free to talk no censorship you get the time you want because we are on the same side and uh, we have the same enemy you know <laughs> so we have to be together and I appreciate also for today that you uh, took uh, the time to talk now and that that video will be on YouTube anyway now after we are finish, oh, finishing this I will uh, save that file and it will be in the live stream page uh, where we are n right now so uh, before it's on YouTube and people go to the live stream page they can find it first and then after the that 24 hour day then I will upload everything to YouTube so this is uh, not lost because now I don't know how many people are watching but uh, yeah when it's on YouTube then it can, can get shared if people like what we are talking please share it because sharing is caring and uh, even if you don't like this uh, dear viewer but you know someone who would like it give it to him send him the link it's just the link maybe uh, uh, it helps the other person and also you because we are working uh, for peace here Sylvain is on uh, on board and many people are on board too and so I invite the whole world go on board with us and uh, let's save the world and make peace and uh, yeah get life better because yeah we are uh, on the on the wrong way if you just continue living like like this and think the government will fix it they they won't fix anything they they make making the things worst so <laughs> This is all what I can say. Well, I, I want to give some words of encouragement yeah. uh, because it's not all bleak. And uh, actually, uh, us common folks are actually winning the war. And I'll tell you, I'll give you one example. I have several. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, I have different uh, groups in Facebook and, mm -hmm. and uh, I have a WordPress and all that kind of thing. And uh, like in, in, in the Facebook, uh, uh, I have uh, some of my groups have a thousand members and some have close to 5,000 members. They're all on different topics like fluoridation, radiation, that kind of thing. Yeah. And um, uh, recently what I've discovered is that once your group becomes a certain size, agents, or I, I don't know what to call them, come in and infiltrate. Mm -hmm. And they, they look at the different discussion threads and they start attacking people, attacking ideas, but this is wrong, and prove this, and prove this, and prove that. Mm -hmm. Now these people now are well known because they start attacking us, several of us, uh, personally. Uh, but we know how to deal with them, um, so we're not concerned about that, but that's a good sign because when people are actually hired to start to create division amongst your members, among your group, you know, like my chem, my biggest uh, chemtrail group has about 4,000 members, it's been Many people share information, people meet each other, people, we create events and, and so on and sometimes it's at the university, we created a chemtrail event at the Aqua University. Um, some of us have been invited on mainstream media shows, on internet radio shows and uh, and we get attacked uh, on air as well too, but that, that's okay too, there, there's a way to defend yourself. Yeah. Um, so when people start attacking you, that means you're getting close to victory because you've become significant enough they want to destroy you um, if ever anybody is in that situation you've got a group uh, special interest group um, where you're starting to see that happen I'd be happy to collaborate with you to tell you how to get rid of these people in a very diplomatic way um, and um, but I'm only one person who has these groups and there are thousands and tens of thousands of people like you hands and me hands, you know, who do this. So there are at least millions of people making a difference. And now that we're wisening up, how, we know how to defend ourselves against these agents using technology and psychology. Mm -hmm. We're winning. And pretty soon the government will start listening to us because they're supposed to be public servants. They're supposed to be doing what we want them to do. Uh, but they're not so eventually they will uh, so I don't it, there will be a, a, a critical breaking point sometime I don't know when it is some people say it's November 5th coming next week mm -hmm. I don't know if you heard about this uh, event everybody's gonna wear a Guy Fox uh, mask on November 5th uh, in 400 cities are no I didn't hear about it tell 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 us about what it is so people uh, will learn yeah in 400 cities 
Uh-huh. 400 cities around the world, people have bought Guy, uh, Guy Fawkes uh, Fox, uh, masks. Okay. They bought it at Halloween, you know, because Halloween just happened here. Yeah. And they bought all the masks. And uh, so now they have to contact suppliers and uh, <laughs> special uh, costume shops to get more. But apparently they're going to be doing this to show uh, a number of things. In Canada, our prime minister, who makes uh, everything into a law, has passed a law that is a criminal offense to protest with a mask on. And it's now in effect, it is now a law. And this is gonna happen next week. How many people is gonna be arresting? You know, a crime to wear a mask? Uh, but anyways, I don't know how successful it will be. Uh, will that cause change? I don't know. Uh, I'm not advocating uh, ar anarchy, you know? Um, anarchy, by the way, means without monarchy, without kings and queens. Um, it doesn't mean no government, in my opinion. But um, uh, eventually, we just outnumber, I mean, we're like seven billion people. We outnumber them. If we wanted something, we would get it. What is missing is collective will. And um, maybe somebody listening to your, to your show right now may decide to make a difference. And maybe that person will be the, the, the you know, how do you say, the cherry on top of the, the, the ice cream. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll make everything uh, good. Uh, we got to do our part, persistence, and uh, it takes a lot. Of, individual drops of water make up an ocean. And uh, I think we're close to something big and hopefully non-violent. I don't believe in violence, yeah, as you know. Exactly. Now we have to uh, uh, to do everything peacefully. This is also what uh, good that you mentioned that uh, topic because uh, many people think we are uh, or the, those people who are uh, talking about all those uh, movements and everything. You have to to be violent and, and hit the police. No, no, no. The, actually, the people uh, that happen in Mexico, for example, they infiltrate when there's a, a demonstration. They infiltrate agents or whatever. I have even seen that uh, uh, because uh, I was on uh, uh, some of, of, of the uh, demonstration, of like 15 of October, uh, I think last or uh, year, or I don't know when it was. And I saw people with with those tiny. Um, uh, ear uh, phones and everything and blah 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 dressed like like everybody with t-shirts and uh, stuff against the new world order and everything but they were agents I mean here there's a for example a, a demonstration they put those people and uh, there and they hit the, the windows of the uh, shopping centers and this and uh, hitting the people but it's not people like you and me I mean I when I go to a demonstration, I'm not thinking and hurting any uh, someone, you know. It's the other people, and then because of the other people, all the people think the the people of the demonstration are, demonstrations are all violent. But it's it's not we. We are peaceful, and I hope people who are going to demonstrations don't be violent at all. Take your camera, your video camera, your, your cell phone with a camera and film the evidences because that, that is what could help us. If you see something that someone gets hit, take the video, upload it immediately to YouTube or to Facebook that people see actually what's what's going on. Because on TV you, you only see the bad things, you know, the, you, you, you see the agents doing it, uh, the infiltrated for example. You can see them, you know, because uh, they they just want to put us like the bad guys, but we are actually we are the good guys who wants peace, who wants to save the world, and wants pos uh, who want positive changes. So uh, that that's what I can say about that. No violence at all. Even if we get hit, uh, maybe it, it hurts. I, I was got uh, I got hit two uh, uh, like two or three years ago. I, I don't have any time feeling now, but. Uh, first, I got a warning here where I live that uh, uh, the Johann Anton he, he, he not even asked for Hans. Uh, then I saw no, that is uh, someone who I I don't know. And that guy told the neighbor I wasn't there, uh, and he gave me the message that I I shouldn't uh, publish anything on Facebook <coughs> against the governments. And uh, I I kept on doing it, and the next day I got hit with a with a tube, iron tube. 
uh, I didn't die of it and I was even stronger I talked about that and since that day nothing happened because uh, now if something happened maybe thousands of people really will see the evidence then because I, I'm not thinking in Swiss uh, suicides shit and whatever I'm stronger than ever and I wanna uh, continue with this so if something happened to me I don't know when tomorrow next week it it's it was not me I mean I uh, I, I won't hurt, hurt myself so then it's the government or someone else and please um, yeah uh, research why I am dead I hope I, I never will die with this kind of issue I want to die uh, old and knowing that uh, really the world has changed that that would be my my, my best gift uh, I, I could receive that really uh, that I can die in peace and, and, and think ah, world is okay you know I hope you reach that <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah by the way yeah uh, yeah if ever you have to go to protest again uh, yeah apart from wearing a helmet this time yeah <laughs> I, would suggest, I suggest this software it's free on the internet it's called quick the website is quick.com uh -huh. it's Q I K Q -I -K. okay okay and all it is the ultimate tool of protesters what it is is that it allows you to record in real time mm -hmm. so whatever you record in a protest is going straight to your friends feed automatically in real time so even if the police sees your camera it's too late it's already been filmed mm -hmm. and uh, you can still hear the sound it's a great great tool for protesters here wow. in Canada the, the protesters they, they, they love this tool it's free Mm -hmm. so quick get quick <laughs> okay good good advice I, I, I you know that's why we need to be together on this because I, I didn't know about that uh, quick uh, thing and uh, about what what will happen on 5th 5th of November you said with the, with the masks yeah yeah I didn't know about it and uh, excellent excellent news so I hope people um, will uh, invest uh, research of uh, and all this so we are um, yeah, more intelligent and, and we prepared for future events and uh, demonstrations and wh whatever. So I mean, it's just great uh, to to have you here because uh, I also learned something today, and I hope all the people who are watching this they learn also something, and maybe they have also something to say which you don't know and I don't know yet. You know, so please let's 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 do it together because this is the only way because we are now all divided in our groups and, and just we exist in uh, in the internet but but not in real life you know and we have to be in real life and even if, if it's a hard fight and if we are getting criticized and trolls over there and over here and whatever you know I mean uh, uh, like you said it's a it's a good sign if they are trolls because then uh, we see that that we are uh, uh, get, uh, that, that what we are doing is getting serious and uh, someone doesn't like it and it, as we don't say anything bad so there's someone bad who doesn't like the good things and we uh, we never have to give up we have to be even stronger and f uh, that has has to give us energy to continue not to stop and say I oh, know I'm afraid maybe they hit me or whatever they kill my family they won't do that they <laughs> if we are all together they cannot kill uh, hundred thousands or millions of people. It's not possible. That that would, would really lead to a, a really a revolution. Then so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Stay strong, people. I, I agree. But okay. Oh, by the way, uh, yeah. Maria, one of our common friends, Maria De Stefano, uh, is trying to connect with you on Uvu. Also, I think she wants to say a few things. Uh, so I gave her your uh, yes, the green day. All one word is. Uh, um, is uh, your uh, handle on the, your ID on uh, uvu.com uh -huh. and uh, that's what we're using right now and it's, it's a great tool yeah. you can have many people online at the same time exactly exactly yeah uh, in fact I have uh, uh, the next uh, person waiting I, I don't know if you remember Will Wyckoff he I think he was once uh, in, a, in a big live stream chat where we had also many videos here uh, because yeah. he's he's also now uh, stronger. He's an old man. Let's say it's not in our age. He's like 20 years older, 
but uh, he is very uh, strong now and really fighting with us also. Okay, Maria, hello, Maria. Hi, I just I didn't know this was going to go on just now. <laughs> yeah, it's working. <laughs> Okay. We're, we're thousands of people uh, watching this now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Surprise! Boom! It's in my face. I'm on. I've never. Uh, hey guys. Okay. How you doing? So, uh, <laughs> Maria, I don't know. Uh, well, I, I will let you uh, continue with your callers. You've given me enough time, uh, Hans. Okay. I really appreciate uh, your interview. No, I know you still have 24 more hours to go or... Exactly, but, uh, until uh, tomorrow 12.30 Mexican time. I'll leave you with time. your callers. Okay, thanks Sylvain and uh, much appreciated to uh, uh, your uh, participation on that live stream. Uh, I love you man. Uh, keep on what you're doing, don't give up and uh, hopefully I see you very soon again. And let's uh, continue our work for the good of mankind. Okay, yes. bye Hans, bye Thank Maria. You. Bye bye. bye. Good job, Sylvain. Yeah. Okay. Be, uh, before I continue with you, n just let me save that uh, live stream because I am uh, recording it uh, of uh, here. Also, it's not just once uh, live, and that's it. That. Uh, I will record it too. So uh, I will record uh, save that file, I've and been then trying to get on all and then we continue. <laughs> okay.